Am I giving up on my financial independence dreams? Stay tuned to find out. Hey there, thanks for watching. So this is kind of an update on where I am in my financial independence dreams. With all that's been going on in my life, where am I in my quest to financial independence? So to kind of back up a little bit and give you sort of the fuller picture of how I got started on financial independence, what I think about it, how I plan to get there, and then how all of this changed, I'm kind of going to give you a timeline. So I started this channel back in 2017 when I had that big audacious goal to get rid of my student loan debt in one year. That didn't happen, but along the way, I learned a huge lesson about personal finance and accountability, keeping track of my numbers, and more importantly, I was introduced to this whole personal finance community. And I think that was the bigger takeaway from my goal to get out of student loan debt. So did I meet that goal? Nope, didn't meet it, no regrets. But what I did gain was a clear sense of perspective on my own path and personal finance even if I wasn't necessarily in the place that I wanted to be in regard to those personal finances. So fast forward from 2015 to around 2018. In that time, I became aware and introduced to the concept of financial independence, retire early, which is essentially where you live on as little as you can, possibly can, to save up as much as you can, to be able to amass enough wealth that you can live off the interest of that wealth and not have to rely on your day job for income. So that's kind of the idea of financial independence in a nutshell. And at first I thought, interesting, then I thought it wasn't for me, then I met some people who were really interesting and into the concept and they kind of introduced me to the possibilities around it and other ways that I might be able to accomplish financial independence and that kind of changed my mind a little bit and made me think that it might be possible for me after all. Too much jibba jabba. So fast forward to 2019 and I realized that I'm not going to get to financial independence anytime soon, but that doesn't stop me from still trying to do the best I can with my finances. I'm staying out of debt and I'm working toward building up my savings. 2020 hits and we all know what happens in 2020. End of the year that time forgot. It was devastating, tragic, horrible. I didn't mind having to work from home and it actually brought about one of my five year life goals, which was being able to work entirely remote. So that was actually a huge benefit for me to be able to work remote and it's something that I still am doing to this day and something that I'm still really, really thankful for to this day. But the thing with 2020 is it put a lot of plans on hold, it put a big old chunk in the timeline for a lot of things, not just financial. In terms of relationships, some relationships fell away and that was a great thing. In terms of friendships, some friendships fell away and that was not a bad thing. But in terms of sort of the people that were closest to me, I actually found that we grew closer than ever in 2020, which led to a really good 2021 for me personally, on a personal, emotional, and relational level. Which led to 2022. I had some expenses. I regret nothing. There are just some expenses and that has delayed my financial independence timeline. So while I'm not giving up on the dream of being financially independent or that plan of being financially independent, the timeline got longer and longer. So financial independence is still the goal. That retiring early part, mm, maybe not so much. But in general, I look at any type of retirement where you don't need to rely on an income as a positive thing. So while the retire early part may be a little bit mm, further out for me, the financial independence part is still the goal. So I'm not giving up on financial independence and my number is still pretty much the same because my number is my number and I can only control what I can control, which is myself. I can control myself. I've been talking about this in my live streams a lot where sometimes I get overwhelmed by the things that I can't control, which is other people. I can't control anyone else. I can't control the mailman. I can't control my boss. I can't control my mom. I can't control my sister. But you know what I can control is myself. I can control what I eat, how much I move, the work that I do, how often I do the work that I do, what time I wake up. There's a whole list 
of things that I can control. That list is infinite. Sometimes I forget that because I'm focusing on those one or two things that I can't control. So right now, what am I focusing on? I'm focusing on surviving. I'm surviving. You gotta keep working. I'm working. I'm showing up and I'm tracking my numbers. Again, in the live streams, I've been doing a lunchtime live stream at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every day for the past couple weeks. And in the latest live streams, I've been showing how I'm tracking my income. I'm tracking my income because that's something I can control. I am the only person that can control my income. So I'm tracking it because like Peter Drucker said, what gets measured gets managed and I'm aiming to manage it like a good manager. So that's what I'm doing. So in short, am I giving up on financial independence? No. Is it something that I am killing myself to reach in a specific time frame? No. Am I really happy with where I am right now? Yeah. Could I be doing more? Of course. And for anyone who's interested, here is an updated look at my financial independence tracking sheet. Here is a quick snapshot of my financial independence worksheet. All of the numbers are still the same. Yeah, <laughs> they're just a little bit sobering at the moment. So my annual expenses are about 30K. So a safe withdrawal rate is still at 4%. My financial independence number is still 750,000. My expected rate of return is about 8%, which although currently my portfolio is not doing so hot, more or less, I this is what I can expect the market to do. Let me move that over. Um, my age is no longer that, it's now this. <laughs> um, so what I already have saved, remaining amount up there. Okay, yearly savings payment. <laughs> I'm not gonna touch that right now because it'll make me sad. So I'll just go with where we are right now. So, I didn't put that much into my account. I didn't put 35,000 into my account. I don't anticipate putting that much into my account. I put about 6,600 into my account. And that's roughly my balance. And you'll see the numbers don't change so much. Years to financial independence is about 16.87. Even if I only put 6,600 in for the next two years, then you'll see I have about 2,100 in, which which, if my expenses hold, is about my gross pay, not my net pay. That's not feasible based on my net pay. So let me change that yearly savings payment and, and you'll see why the timeline's a little bit different. So if I make it, let's even say I take it down to $10,000 a year my years to financial independence are 23.9. So uh, it's still earlier than it would have been if I had, um, it's not too bad. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. So that's what we're looking at, right? So I'd hit my number right about age 61 or 62, which I'm like, hey, that's better than working till you're 80, right? So that's what I got. That's, that's my numbers for right now. Okay, so while it wasn't as aggressive as I would have anticipated maybe a year ago, it's still moving in the right direction. And overall, that's just what I aim to do. It's those baby steps that are heading in the right direction and eventually they compound on each other to produce growth. And that's all I'm looking for is continued sustained growth. So there you have it. That's my update on my financial independence journey. I hope this has been helpful. I do have a link to the worksheet that I use for financial independence calculations in the description below. I have it up on Etsy as a Google Sheet. It's actually a huge help to me if you would purchase that worksheet and I hope it will be helpful to you in your financial independence journey. So thank you as always for watching and I hope you keep watching. Bye.